Hey everyone, over the years that I've been creating content, I've always tried to simplify things as much as possible. My goal has never been to try and impress you with my intellect, but rather distill down the complicated rules about social security and retirement planning into understandable language. Now to help do this, I first created the social security cheat sheet. Later, I added the retirement planning cheat sheet. Both of those were meant to take the thousands of rules and distill them down into just a few pages of easy to read charts. Now, these have been downloaded a few hundred thousand times at this point, and I know that it's helped to clarify some of the complications, but now it's time for an even better version of this. Today, I'm happy to unveil the Big Picture Retirement Planning Cheat Sheet. This combines both of the elements of the Retirement Planning Cheat Sheet and the Social Security Cheat Sheet into one resource, but it's not just a combination of those two older versions. I started over from scratch and I only included the pieces that you told me were the most valuable and then added a few more that you've requested. Just like before, this is still completely free for you to download and I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get this new version. But let me first show you what's going on in this new version. So first of all, there's now three pages to it. The first page is dedicated to retirement planning. So you'll see the retirement plan limits for all of the different types of retirement accounts. There's a section on the 2024 federal income tax brackets that list the thresholds for single, married filing jointly, and heads of household. I added a section for the age of required minimum distributions with the first SECURE Act and then the second SECURE Act. This has changed some over the last few years. And it can be somewhat difficult to keep up with what age applies to who. And this age is really important because even though this may be years away for a lot of the members of my audience, this will tell you what kind of runway you have between now and when your RMD is going to start so you can do some tax planning. And I also added a chart that shows the divisor for calculating your RMD. Now, this is the IRS's uniform lifetime table, but this is the one that we find is most commonly used. This will give you a good projection of what your future RMDs will look like. So for example, if you expect your IRA to be worth $1 million at age 75, you'd simply divide 1 million by the factor shown. This will tell you that your age 75 RMD will be $40,650. Another section I've added is the standard deduction along with the additional deduction for those over the age of 65. This is the one that keeps changing every year and keeping up with this can make a big difference in the taxes you pay. Uh, two of the last pieces I'll highlight on the retirement planning charts are the capital gains and qualified dividends thresholds. This is the one that I wish everyone knew, but a lot of people don't. If you are married filing jointly, you can have a taxable income of just over $94,000 without paying any taxes on capital gains. I've seen so many people with capital gains and income under the thresholds, and they just let this go by year after year without knowing about this 0% capital gains rate. The other extremely useful piece is the 2024 Medicare premiums, and specifically the income-related monthly adjustment amount, or the IRMA. Now, we could spend some time on this, but... You'll see it in the chart. It's fairly easy to read. And as we move on to the second page, this is where the information on Social Security starts. There's a lot to cover here. That's why it's got two pages for itself. You can see that the full retirement age is listed here by birth year, the age-based reductions and increases for your own benefit, for spousal benefits, and survivor benefits, the current year earnings limit, along with a description of what is and what is not counted, the spousal benefit formula, an entire section on how taxes on Social Security benefits work, and a lot of other stuff on Social Security. Now, those are the high points of what's included in this cheat sheet, but there's a few other things that I didn't cover as well that you'll likely find to be very useful and interesting. Now, if you're already on my email list, you should have already received this, but if you're not on my list, you need to be. And if you stay on my email list, Anytime I update this, I'm going to send it out to you automatically without making you jump through any hoops. Now, here's some interesting background on these cheat sheets. I know there's a lot to keep up with, and it's something that I struggle with as well. So there are some things that stick with me 
almost in a way that's not normal, little pieces of information that I can retain. But with some specifics like numbers, I struggle to retain those. And it doesn't help that most of them change every year either. So in my day-to-day practice, I was always having to look up this information. And finally, I just decided to keep a cheat sheet to use as a desk reference for my personal use. So what you're seeing here is the information that I was having to look up all the time because it was either being asked by my audience or I was going to use it in a video or a podcast. So I know all too well that there's a lot of information that you need to keep up with, and that information on the cheat sheet is important. So download your free copy of the Big Picture Retirement Planning Cheat Sheet today. You know, before you can have retirement confidence, you have to have clarity This cheat sheet is a great tool to help give you increased clarity on what you need to know about retirement. There's going to be a link right down below where you can get that. Thank you guys so much for being a fantastic audience, and I hope you find lots and lots of value cheat sheet.